Are you worried that your garden has Japanese knotweed? As a plant scientist, I'll help you to spot exactly what Japanese knotweed looks like. But Japanese knotweed is an incredibly fast growing plant. It looks dramatically different through the year. So you don't miss any stage of Japanese knotweed growth, I'll show you the key identification features at each growth season. And after you've watched this video, you'll know for sure if you need to call a Japanese knotweed removal specialist or whether your suspicious plant is just a harmless or maybe not so harmless Japanese knotweed lookalike. More on lookalikes later. Let's start in the spring. Peeking out from the ground, can you spot this young Japanese knotweed shoot? In the UK, new shoots of Japanese knotweed start to appear around late March to mid-April. Young Japanese knotweed shoots are generally bright red, pink or purple and turn greener as they grow. The young shoots can be as thick as your thumb and they have a pointed tip. As they grow, they start to look a bit like thick pink and green asparagus shoots. These Japanese knotweed shoots are just a few inches long, but you can already see an important identification clue. See these red and cream joints or nodes on the stem with a leaf growing from each node? These nodes are always very visible on Japanese knotweed stems. On to the immature leaves. On the young shoots of Japanese knotweed, the leaves are triangular like an arrowhead with rolled up edges, kind of like a scroll. The young Japanese knotweed shoots grow extremely fast. Spot the difference in early April and then in early May. In just one month, you can already see these shoots have grown to over 1.8 metres high or more than six feet. As a side note, here's what Japanese knotweed looks like if it's previously been treated with a herbicide. The new shoots here on this glyphosate treated knotweed are smaller, distorted and very spindly. So now we've seen Japanese knotweed growing in spring, let's move on to summer. Japanese knotweed becomes bigger and bolder. Japanese knotweed usually grows in very dense thickets. I'll explain why soon. Zooming into the Japanese knotweed stem, see how it's smooth, not hairy. The stems have this chartreuse green base colour. As the stem ages, you see these red speckles or darker mottles developing. Mature Japanese knotweed stems can grow as thick as 5 cm wide or 2 inches wide. Japanese knotweed stems are not woody or tree-like. They're green throughout and easy to cut with secateurs. As you can see here, the stems are hollow inside. And what about the leaves? The mature summer leaves of Japanese knotweed are about the same size as your hand, 10 to 15 centimetres long or 4 to 6 inches. Japanese knotweed leaves are a medium green colour to dark green and the leaves sometimes have faint yellow or red marks. Japanese knotweed leaves are a distinctive shape. They are often referred to as shield or spade shaped. This distinctive shape is a key way to identify Japanese knotweed leaves. Unlike many other plants, Japanese knotweed leaves have a flat or squared base where the leaf stalk joins the leaf. Another identifier, each leaf emerges from a different side of the stem at each node. As you can see here, this alternate growth often creates a distinctive zigzag shape along the stem. Sometimes Japanese knotweed will also grow side shoots from the main stem, just like here. These side shoots emerge from just above a leaf at a stem node. So now, most of summer is gone and it's late summer or early autumn. By late summer or autumn, the Japanese knotweed shoots will likely be taller than your head. These shoots can get up to 3 metres or 10 feet high. And it's this time of year, late summer and autumn, when Japanese knotweed starts to flower. Frustratingly, Japanese knotweed flowers are actually rather lovely. They're sweetly scented and bees love them. Sorry, bees. The Japanese knotweed flowers are tiny and creamy white and they grow in clusters on these short stalks you can see, which emerge from the stem nodes. In the UK, 
almost all Japanese knotweed plants are female, so there's no male plant to fertilize the flowers. This means that Japanese knotweed seeds in the UK are mostly sterile and won't grow. So, what does cause Japanese knotweed to spread? Stay watching. Let's move into autumn and winter. The Japanese knotweed leaves turn bright yellow and fall to the ground. Now, the only above ground evidence of Japanese knotweed are these hollow stems we talked about. These tube like stems turn brown, dry, and brittle. The old stems remain standing in a dense crowd throughout the winter. You can sometimes see the remains of the flower stalks looking a bit like a fuzzy fan at the top of the stems. Remember, I told you that Japanese knotweed seeds in the UK won't germinate. Instead, Japanese knotweed spreads underground through a network of large roots. This type of running root is called a rhizome by plant scientists. And crucially, Japanese knotweed will happily regrow from any small fragment of the stem or root which breaks off. This menacing underground root structure is exactly why Japanese knotweed is tricky to remove. The rhizomes allow Japanese knotweed to survive the winter underground and dormant. Japanese knotweed rhizomes are dark brown on the outside. Inside, there's a yellowy orange interior. See how it looks somewhat like a knobbly, large and dirty ginger root or a very long, muddy carrot. Rhizomes can grow as deep as two meters or over six feet down into the ground, and they can spread across as far as seven meters or over 20 feet away from the Japanese knotweed plant. This is why Japanese knotweed grows in such dense thickets. So that's it for the winter. The Japanese knotweed plant will start its life cycle again in the spring. Now, we've only covered Japanese knotweed, but other types of knotweed can also be very invasive. Two of these invasive knotweeds also found in the UK are giant knotweed and bohemian knotweed. These two knotweeds breed and hybridize readily with Japanese knotweed, so identifying them can be a little tricky. Therefore, if you spot a large knotweed that looks similar to Japanese knotweed, still call a specialist. And as I said earlier, what about some non-knotweed lookalikes, which you might confuse with Japanese knotweed? First, bamboo. But bamboo has thin, papery, grass-like leaves and hard, woody canes. Be warned that many bamboo species are also very invasive and hard to control. So unless you have a hungry resident panda in your garden, I recommend you only plant clumping forms of bamboo, such as Fargesia. Another Japanese knotweed lookalike is broadleaf dock. However, broadleaf dock has larger, broad, oval, wavy-edged leaves. The leaves and stalks emerge from a central rosette at the plant base. Broadleaf dock has ridged stems and broadleaf dock has towering central flowering stalks which can reach 1.5 meters or 5 feet tall. And let's briefly cover bindweed. Bindweed grows on a different scale to Japanese knotweed. Bindweed is just so much smaller. Bindweed stems are vine-like, immediately trying to climb and wrap around other objects. Bindweed stems are only a couple of millimeters thick. The stems are solid, not hollow, and bindweed leaves are heart-shaped without the flat base you see on Japanese knotweed. So what do you do now? What if you have identified that the suspicious plant in your garden is Japanese knotweed? First, don't panic. The Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, or RICS, noted in 2022 official guidance that, and I quote, Japanese knotweed rarely causes structural damage to substantial buildings such as dwellings. In other words, Japanese knotweed is an invasive menace, but thankfully, it's not as serious to buildings as people would think. However, if you have identified Japanese knotweed from my video, please do consult a local Japanese knotweed specialist for control as soon as you can. It can take three to five years to get Japanese knotweed under control, but it can be managed. In the UK, Japanese knotweed is a controlled, invasive species and all parts of the Japanese knotweed plant are controlled waste. So, if you hire a contractor, make sure the contractor 
has a license for waste removal. For a useful summary, which details the legal aspects of stopping Japanese knotweed from spreading, search Japanese knotweed gov.uk. Wishing you healthy plants and happy gardening.